Hi everyone. I've got my gorgeous Joseph with me today because he doesn't get to be in many videos with his mummy. Um, so I thought I'd have him with me today uh, so you can see him. He's just a beautiful little boy and I've had him quite a long time now. And I wanted to talk to you about something serious, which isn't something I really do, is it? But Something happened to me last night which has really upset me, um, shaken me up. And I think you all need to know about it. I follow Joanna Kasmarak. I'm sorry if I've mispronounced that. On Facebook. And she was showing her new baby Lulu, which is a full-bodied silicone and is absolutely gorgeous. And that was the um, day before yesterday, I think. And last night, I had a message from her saying, was I interested in the baby? And I said, well, yeah, I mean, who wouldn't be? But um, I said that, you know, there's no way that I could afford it. I'm disabled. I couldn't afford to have a baby like that. Because, I mean, we all know that Joanna Kay's um, silicone babies go for anything up to £15,000. That is way, way out of my league. And she said that she'd chosen me to have this baby and all I had to do was make her an offer for it. And I said, well, <laughs> and that she was sorry I was disabled. And I said, well, I wouldn't even know what to offer. And she said, well, the, the baby had been made for charity. So the money would be going for charity. Um, that she did a lot of charitable work. And um, she would like me to have the baby. Well, I mean, I was absolutely gobsmacked. I thought... There's no way that I could own a Joanna K full-bodied silicone. Um, why would she pick me for a start? Um, anyway, she was talking. She was very convincing and she said that um, she did a lot of work for charity and that if she let me have, I gave her a figure that I could afford and she said that she would accept it. And, but I would have to keep it to myself, promise not to tell anybody that I'd let her have this baby so cheaply. And I said, well, yeah, of course I would promise to do that. And she said she'd want to see her, pictures of her. And I said, well, I've got a YouTube channel so you could see her on my YouTube channel. And she said, oh, that's brilliant kind of thing. She even tried to ring me at one point because um, I was busy on the phone to my sister and I couldn't answer my phone. So when I went back, I said, I'm really sorry. I was talking to my sister and where would I, how, you know, could I pay for the baby through PayPal? And she sent me lots of pictures of the baby. She sent me pictures of everything that would come with the baby all these beautiful clothes and things. Um, and she said um, that, that the charity didn't have a PayPal account. Um, I'd have to do it through Western Union. And I thought, well, that's fair enough. Not everybody has a PayPal account. Um, and I said, well, I haven't got any idea how to open one. And she said that she would help me. And I thought, oh, well, you know, that's going the extra mile. That's really kind of her. Um, and um, 
And so she started to open this Western Union um, account for me. So, of course, I gave her my name and address. Um, and then a couple things she said started to make alarm bells ring. And I just thought, hang on a minute, is this really Joanna Kay? So I had sent, I mean, it had her picture up on the top, like it does on Messenger. Um, and so I thought, well, I, I have sent her a message before now, so I'll just pop back and have a look. So I went into my Facebook Messenger. Excuse me, I'll just have a drink. Do you want some, Joseph? Joseph doesn't like tea, he only likes milk. <laughs> it's gone a bit dark. I hope you're seeing him all right. It's lighting you up a bit. Um, and I looked and it was a different line. I went onto her Facebook account and went into message and it came up on the messages I'd sent her that she hadn't answered and I thought well this is this is weird so I said um I'm a bit worried about this could you you know are you the real Joanna Kasmarat because I've sent you messages and you have an answer kind of thing or something like that I can't remember exactly and she said of course I am this is my Facebook account and so I thought, well, I don't know. It just started to feel wrong. And she kept pressing me to give me, you know, more details and everything and about sending the money. And, and I just said, look, I'm really sorry. I may be turning down the chance of a lifetime here but because I I love your babies I love your work there's nothing more I mean it's a dream to get one of your solid silicone babies but I really can't afford to part with money when I'm not sure and they said they'd offer you know the person said oh well we're offer it to somebody else and I said well I think you better because yeah I don't want to go ahead with it so they just did this like little figure of a woman with the shoulders up and I say, well, what, what, what are you talking about? You know, um, but uh, and that was it. So I didn't actually part with any money. I didn't give them any bank details or anything like that. But I mean, they had my name and address and my date of birth because um, they needed that to set the account up. But I got in touch with a good friend of mine. Uh, well, a couple actually. One couldn't help and the other one knew Joanna and said they'd contact her and let me know. And this morning when I got up, Joanna has put on her Facebook account about there being a scam. So I was being scammed by somebody trying to get money from me under the guise of being Joanna Kay. And, you know, it's really, really rocked me. I just, nothing like that has ever happened to me before. I mean, I've been scammed having a bad baby that didn't look like the photographs and that kind of thing. But not somebody messaging me trying to get money from me like that. It's a real eye-opener, ladies. So, please, please. Please be aware that this is going on and you could end up losing a lot of money and all your details, your bank details and everything else and get nothing in return, just a headache and a sleepless night like I've had. I was so pleased to get my happy mail from Margaret today because it was the one bright thing. Um, you know, it's... It's been a nightmare. And I mean, I did try and contact Joanna, but with no luck. But she did come back to me today because I said on her on her Facebook post, it was me. 
and I, I was trying to contact you. So she has contacted me by messenger on Facebook and said how sorry she is about this happening. But how cruel, how cruel to let somebody believe that they could have one of these babies. What awful, awful people are out there. So please, ladies, be very, very careful, very careful. And if it looks as if it's too good to be true, it is. Love you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.